Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. Today, I'm going to show you this stack 3D game that I made where you have a rectangular cube spawning itself and you can rotate the cube and avoid obstacles while trying to get to the next level. I'm going to show you the ins and outs of what I've created and show you how to create it yourself, so get ready. Before I begin, be sure to like and subscribe by hitting that little bell as I put out videos daily where I'm creating and playing when it comes to mobile games. So here we got a cube and it just continues to spawn cubes. Gotta make it in between these levels. And it's cool because you can actually see the cubes below when they get a little too wobbly. They just fall down and collapse and the level complete. Now, there's a lot of stuff going on right here. So let's just take a look. First thing I want to point to is the start and end. The start is at 0, 0, 0, X, Y, Z. And then the end is at that 0, 0, Y, 25, all the way up here. And again, with these additional levels, you can see start is at 0, 0. And the end is at Y. 25 and the last scene has a game complete scene right over here and from here let's take a look at the character here we have a lot going on okay this is the character it has physics set to kinematic it's always important to know if you need to set it to static kinematic or dynamic because if you don't have this set up properly then everything else will be a mess here we got a touch rotate this allows the character to move x y Here allows the character to move the X, Y, and the Y is set to zero, so it doesn't move in the Y direction. If we were to set this to five, we could see it can move like this, but this is not what we want, so we set Y to zero. Sensitive is at 15. And then, of course, it's just automatically the character is moving in the Y direction up at a pace of five. Now here we have a spawn looping into a spawn. And technically, we don't need all this. We actually just delete this and make it loop into itself one time, just like this. Right now, the enemy is not set, but I have a game complete with the time delay and then go to menu jump. And then here, if it collides with an enemy, then game over. I've set this to enemy, but for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to work. It's, it's even called enemy. That could be something with the physics. I'm not even sure. Here we have the torus. You can see the ground is connected to the torus. And I just added the torus because I think it looks better visually than just two cubes with the space open. That's pretty much it. And let me show you how to create that on your own right now. So let's go to default, go to this world. Let's change the background color a little bit. Now we got an object. Always wanna have a spawn cube. I didn't mention this before. So I'm gonna copy this and we're gonna call this spawn S cube for spawn cube. I'm gonna change the color to a silver. Then go into this cube and add a set random color like that. And we'll move this cube up here to character. And again, we're going to need to cause it to move up. Move up zero direction in the Z and move up five. And the touch rotate is what we will want. I believe I had it to set 15, zero. Green X will be for the X. And this doesn't matter. Let's take a look. Okay. A couple things we need to do here is we need to set the camera follow on the game path. And let's change the start and end to zero, five, we'll add one here as well. So at zero and end can be 25. Now let's take a look at the camera. I'm gonna move it back a little bit because I don't like it so up close. I'm gonna be moving up, look how that looks. Spawn up, okay, so it's not rotating in the right way. So let's go to the cube and is it maybe the Y? No, it's probably the Z. Nope. Interesting though, it's good to know. Maybe it is the Y. Yeah, it is the Y. Okay, so we go like this. Now the camera isn't moving, not sure why. We need to follow the character. Character move 
And this makes the ground orange. Yeah, okay, cool. So next, the cube, we need to have it spawn in a delay. So we go to spawn. First, we want to add a 0.25 second delay. This will spawn the spawn cube. Now we should set the scale to mimic what is on the object itself. So let's go here, hit save, and let's take a look. We 0.25, 0.75. Let's go here into this asset. 3.25.75. So that's what we got. And let's check it out. So when it's finished, we're going to want it to loop back with itself and to keep creating assets. And it looks like they're really big. And I want to change the camera view because it's not what I'm but something like this I think might be better in the long term. So I see that these objects are not dynamic, so we're gonna need to go in here, set physics to dynamic, cool, and go back into this cube and take a look. Now I'm going to set it all to 111 because I think hopefully it'll follow the shape of the original cube. Yep, yeah, okay, cool, there we go. All this looks good. The only thing we are missing is that the ground has no physics. Add physics, we can make it static or can now it does look a little weird over here so what we're going to do is have the cube spawn minus one so that'll spawn below cool looks good next thing we need is elements to block the cube uh, make it platform make this platform blue purple Okay, a couple of times. Okay, so here we go. Raise this up to the what, 10. Copy that 1.5. Copy paste. Put it at negative 1.5. Character needs to try to go between those two. Something like that. That's good. So here, I'm going to add it as well. 30, 45 degrees. Negative 45 degrees. Okay, let's take a look. Here we go. That's good. X, Y, X is zero. Let's look at the camera. I think I'm going to need to change this a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to move these to one, one on scale. My camera angle, not that great. I like this could be better. Always oh, looking for that best camera angle. Ooh, it should be up here. Okay, so I had the wrong end Z point. I'm sure I didn't make that mistake. I right, did make it over here as well. And that's probably why things were looking weird. Okay, so here we go. Pause each endpoint to end at 10. Seems a little more practical to me. Z0, see what that negative 250, that's cool. Okay, so just looking at these, i to make them, yeah, that should be good. Let's take a look at this one. Three, two, go like that, go like that. Cool, now I'll still need to get the collision to work properly. And last but not least, I wanna show you how I did the seafood bean. Let me go ahead and copy this cube. I'll move it down here. Take this opacity and move it to 50. And then just delete this because we don't want it to spawn anything. We don't want it to move, but we do want it to touch rotate because we want it to move along with the object that we have in the game. So let's go ahead and move this and the three, one, two, five, seven, five. So I take this object here, I can just literally make it like this, 25. Okay, so let's make it 10, that makes more sense. So you can still see through it like this. The world is pink, so let's make the world a little blue because maybe that'll be easier. And as you can see, it didn't move up with the object, so we can either attach it to the character or we can just have it also move up by multiple ways to do things. And you can see uh, this is a useful tool. And that is how I made a cube stack of 3D using different nodes, connecting them together and making a possible game mechanic. Pretty cool stuff. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. If you have any comments, suggestions, please let me know and I will see you next time. Peace.